Someone requested me to explain this indicator by Lux Argo called the master pattern indicator and I am basically going to explain to you in very very simple way. Most of you are really confused when they hear contraction, when they hear expansion, when they hear there is expansion line, when they hear there is liquidity, you know, there is a lot this indicator tells us but basically I'm just going to put across or rather simplify everything so that you can really really understand. I know he's not the only one. Many people are actually wondering what it tries to put across or rather to show right on their chart. What you're supposed to know is that it's a very very great indicator because it is derived from the framework proposed by Wyckoff and automatically displays major and minor patterns and their associated expansion line on the chart. So that's what you're really supposed to know about this indicator. So guys in this video allow me to simplify everything about the master pattern indicator and I know you're ready for this video so I welcome you to Money Clothes FX Education YouTube channel. Maybe it's your first time you're hearing my voice i really really welcome you kindly subscribe to this channel if you haven't like this video as well and turn on your notification bell because i believe you need this kind of content as far as forex crypto is really really concerned so guys without further ado i'm just going to add the indicator right on my chat so that we can talk about something you can basically see right on my chat over here so to add it you're just going to click on indicators tab then you're just going to type master button lux algo you click on it once you click on it it will appear like this right on our chart so what i basically know people are wondering what it shows on chart when they can see the highlight the highlight and highlight but basically we're just going to break everything so that you're going to understand what it shows okay so guys i told you it is actually derived from the framework proposed by y curve and as well this indicator includes what we call liquidity levels and to make you understand about liquidity i do tell you rather give you a very simple example with a curve for a car to move it has to have four if a car doesn't have four that car cannot really move so relating that example to forex trading you can basically say liquidity is a four the market needs so that it can really really move so in this case liquidity levels are also included and can be used as target or stops note that the liquidity levels are plotted retrospectively as they are based on pivots so remember the pivot points as well we can use them as our key level and that's why we're being told here liquidity we can use as our target point so at the end of this video i will tell you where to expect liquidity using this indicator okay so guys what you're supposed to understand about the major usage of this indicator so that you can really understand everything about it you're supposed to know that this master pattern indicator detects construction phases in the market and if you're being asked what is a construction phase so you're supposed to know this construction phase is actually characterized by a low a high and a higher low so what does this tell you so you're supposed to know when the market is rising to the upside when the market is actually dropping to the downside on downtrend we have a lower high a lower low and the market is trending to the upside we have higher highs and we have higher lows so this contraction phase is actually characterized by picking off lower high which is this one over here and higher low which is this one over here and they play a very vital role in either downtrend or uptrend Trend because on downtrend we look for lower high for us to take a selling order and uh, we only take our buying order on higher low when the market is actually on uptrend so the construction phase is actually characterized by a lower high and a higher low i hope you're going to keep this in mind and so guys the resulting average from the latest swing high where you got your swing high and where you got your swing low is used as expansion line in this level over here and the expansion line is the line you will see them extend and over over here in the red color in green color so they show us the latest swing high and low okay, so when price breaks the construction range upward because now we have the lower high and the higher low at the level that you're supposed to understand when you get the construction phase when price happens to break the construction range upwards it highlights a bullish master pattern while a break downward highlights a bearish master pattern that's what you're really supposed to know and so guys then during the expansion phase price can tend to stationary around the expansion level stationary simply means that the market is not really moving and the expansion level can either be in green color or rather in red color because there is bearish and bullish so what you're supposed to know this is then often followed by a price significantly deviating from the expansion line highlighting a markup phase so when price happens to leave that stationary level or rather that expansion phase it is followed 
by the price significantly deviating from the expansion line so this expansion line over here they can be used as your support and resistance level because we saw before they are actually resulting average from the latest swing high and swing low which is called the expansion line so they used as our support and resistance level so guys what do you really understand about this indicator very 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 easy to really understand because you have to know number one we have the contract phase and number two we have the expansion phase and on top of that we have the expansion line and if you can pay attention to everything and also relating to explanation like when price happens to break either the contraction phase either the expansion phase it is followed by a bearish move to the downside or a bullish move to the upside that's what you're really supposed to know and as well we have the expansion line over here you can use them as your support and resistance level like this one over here was our resistance level this level over here and you can see for real the price really reacted to this level and it was unable to break to the upside it actually proceeded to the downside so watch price when it is highlighted on these levels over here which you can see in red color which you can see in green color they are very 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 important so let's have an example like this one over here you can see we were on this area highlighted in green color and price happens to break above it you understand me and as well when price came to the downside it broke below it and it really presses to the downside we had a retest to the zone the price was actually rejected resulting a great push to the downside and you can see how it was able to push to the downside so that's how you can simply and simply understand about this indicator even keeping in mind everything you have to understand the difficult names expansion contraction but breaking it the way i've done it to you it will be easier for you to use this indicator correctly and effectively it is a very great indicator by the way subscribe to the channel like this video if you haven't and turn on your notification bell because you need this kind of content as far as forex trading is really really concerned and guys if you go to 15 minutes time frame you will see these expansion lines are very very effective you can use them as your support and resistance level and when they are broken below you will see it so this will help you even know or rather understand something we call breakout it will help you even know something we call retest because you can be able to see all these right on your chat okay so guys that's what i really wanted to put across regarding this indicator by lux algo called the master pattern indicator that actually detects the construction faces in the mic and as well having the expansion phase and the expansion lines okay so guys let me hope you've learned something from this video subscribe to the channel if you haven't liked this video as well continue working ahead because i really know one day one day your hard work will pay so what do i say guys bye bye see you in my next video